That is totally not a freeze frame. Just wanted to weird you guys out. And Q, the yard work. Never fails. All right. Um, hi, my name's Michael, guys, and this is going to be a Blender 2.81, potentially, maybe, 2.82, tutorial on cloth, and more um, specifically, a bed sheet. It's one of those early tutorials that you want to go through, uh, basic tutorials on, on cloth and bed sheets, and um, things nowadays have gotten pretty simple. Um, so I'm going to try to throw together an under 10 minute tutorial on making bed sheets. Let's get started. All right, so we got a basic collection here, a bed collection, and in there we've got a, we've already created here a base mattress, a mid mattress, and a top mattress. You can make as many mattresses as you want, depending on if you're princess in the pea or you're slumming it. It doesn't matter. This cloth tutorial can work with anything. So these are basic uh, little, you know, boxes that have been beveled and smooth shaded. And what we want to do, first of all, is we want to go into all of these and we want to set up in this tab right here, dynamics tab or whatever this is, physics. We want to set a collision for all of these. Was that my stomach? And we, <laughs> the defaults work just fine at, at this point for these. This sets fine. We want to set a collision for this one. We want to set a collision for this one. The only thing different we want to do which I had already set up, which is preset already, look at that, is this friction is normally set to five. If you, have a, if you have a friction of five, if you set the simulation, the sheet will fall sometimes and slide off like it's on some kind of weird viscous jelly or, or whatnot. So setting it to this top one, which is gonna interact directly with our sheet, we're gonna set the friction to 20, which will stop it from sliding. All right, good to go there. And let's go to top view seven and let's, uh, let's create a plane here. Slam the door outside, that's great. And uh, we're gonna set up our sheet here. This is gonna be our main uh, claim to fame, our sheet here, whatever that means. So let's uh, set it up and let's GZ this up. And uh, now what we wanna do is we wanna go into edit mode. These are only four vertices here. We need to, if you're doing cloth simulations, you need to subdivide. There's gotta be a lot of, uh, lot of information, a lot of faces, polygons and whatnot for the simulation to work and look realistic. So we're gonna subdivide this, right click subdivide, go down here, which is my camera's probably blocking and we're gonna set number of cuts to 75 for this particular simulation. You can set it to whatever you want, whatever your computer can handle, whatever your budget polygon allocation is for your project, what have you. Um, 75 works for me. Okay, and uh, the next thing we wanna do is we want to click cloth. Still on the same tab, click cloth here. And what's great is simple, uh, are there's some presets here in this little jammer right here. You're gonna click this and you, there's presets here, silk, rubber, leather, denim, cotton. We're gonna go cotton on this one. Um, good, groovy. Nice, nice, nice. And here's the thing. Typically when you do, is if you did a simulation right now, it would look groovy. We're not gonna bake a simulation or whatnot because the, the cloth would fall on this and look cool and look, hey, neat. But really, it's it typically falls really flat on the surface and there's no wrinkles or creases like real bed sheets have. Um, no matter how much you iron out or, or wipe out, uh, you know, pat down or whatever. <laughs> one of these words that are coming out of my mouth. Uh, no matter what you do, there's always gonna be some kind of creases and, and lines if you're creating for realism in, in real life. Uh, and so we wanna try to get a couple of those. So what we wanna do is we wanna set up a state, basically pre-simulation, that's gonna help us uh, get those realistic creases we want. So let's go into edit mode, hit two for, um, for edge. We're gonna select this top edge. This is actually the top of our bed, not this. This is the top of our bed. And we are going to uh, get make sure proportional editing is on, which it is. We're gonna GZ this up to about right there. And we're gonna, what is it? What is it? What is it? GX, we're gonna set it right here, okay? Now, what we wanna do uh, is bring this down a little. This is a little bit too far. Um, here, so let's go and let's quickly just drop that right about there. So we're good there. And so this is a good little, uh, start. it's gonna fall on itself and create some cool little interesting things, but that is not all we are going to do. What we're gonna do is go back into edge mode and we wanna create some 
decreases just along, along here, right? And let's grab one or two, oops, control Z that, uh, one or two along this axis, axi, axi, whatever, as well. So there, we've got those selected, still proportional on. We want to GZ these as well. And I know that looks funky and weird, and you can do it however way you find out works best for you, but we're going to keep that right there, right? We're going to go into object mode. It's already set up for cloth, and what you want to do now is you want to go down to cache, right? This cache thing. Open the cache up. We're going to bake this, okay? Uh, it's going to bake this into memory. Basically, the simulation is it's going to etch it in stone so you can tweak it and uh, mess with it and everything. After it's baked, the simulation is in memory. So we're going to bake this, and it's even though you're not seeing anything, it is invisibly behind the curtain, so to speak. <laughs> Uh, it is working out the simulation of how this is going to play out. Um, and for something like this, and if you want to save time, of course, you don't want to bake out a whole timeline here. But for this, in this case, I'm just going to speak through it. Usually, for it to fall this far and do its simulation, it would be about 70 to 100 frames. But we're going to play the whole thing out. Depending on your computer, your rig, the power and prowess of your rig, it'll go faster or slower. So let's see what happens here when now we hit play. The simulation is done. Boom. What did we forget? This is a good example. We forgot. See how it goes through itself there? It's ugly, right? It's like, what is it? It's going through itself. So what we did forget to do, which is a perfect example. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to frame one. And uh, we're going to delete that bake. We're going to make sure we go down here to self collisions. Usually this is, um, click this open, whatever. Hit self-collision, which means the sheet is going to interact with itself so it does not go through itself. Even the pros forget it. I'm not a pro at all, but you know what I mean. So what we're going to do is we're going to bake that again with self-collision in mind and waste everyone's time. Cue the leaf blowers. Cue the stomach. Cue the cat. It's all over the place. I need a whisper room. If somebody could please send to my Patreon $5,000 for a whisper room, that would be great. All right, so we're at 100 frame. And how's everyone's day? Don't forget to hydrate. Uh, Dick Tracy, everyone. You know what I mean? Don't you think it's time for another Warren Beatty Dick Tracy remake? It's 2020. Anyway, so... Um... Blender, guys, don't forget to support Blender. Freeware. It's amazing. Okay. And here we go. Uh, counting down to our final countdown. Here we go. And all right, things are ready to go. Let's hit play and see what happens now. Boom. So you notice how it, didn't, it doesn't cut through itself. We can stop right there because that's where the final... Uh, animation is. Now you're, you're, you're saying to yourself, wow, that looks like garbage, like a 16-bit Sega Genesis game. That's okay. We're going to fix that right away. We're going to go into modifiers here, and we're going to go, uh, there's a cloth uh, modifier already laying on the stack, but we're going to add a subdivision surface. Already looks pretty groovy. We can make it look even more groovy by right-clicking and hitting shade smooth. Now there you go. Now here's the thing. With my method of create increases pre, pre simulation. You'll notice my, my has like these X's and stuff in here. And it's like, eh, I don't really like that. It kind of looks weird, you know, and you wouldn't be wrong in saying that. So what you can do is in, when we, when we selected those creases for lifting, you can go through and you can remove a few of them. You mean you can, you can create, you can select the whole edge like I had selected, right? These edges. And you can go through and you can like, you know, remove some here and here. Do stuff like that. Try or mess around with it and, and do your thing. But essentially, you're going to, you're going to, it's going to get the creases you want and whatever. I am going to lay multiple blankets on top of this. Thicker blankets, fun blankets, things to add to the scene. So, you know, some of this geometry, might you might not even want all this geometry. You might want to cut that down. Anyway, this has been an, a quick little cloth tutorial for a bed sheet. Uh, thank you very much, and if you like it, uh, stick around, and um, we're going to be watching um, All of Das Boot, 
Uh, and that's great. Have a great day, guys.